Richard Green, this is the 77th Precinct uh, National Night Out celebration. I've been here for many, many years being part of this community. My center is located in this precinct, and I grew up, part of my growing up is in this precinct. Saturday, I spent most of my day Saturday at a funeral for a 17-year-old that was killed on Fulton Street a week ago. And this young 14-year-old, uh, tragic, but at the same time, we have a lot of questions we have to ask ourselves in the community. One, where is a 14-year-old getting a gun? Two, why is a 14-year-old out there at that time, at the evening, or the night, I should say, of the morning, with a gun? Uh, it's a tragedy because think of that police officer that was involved in that shooting. Th that has ruined his life because he's a human being, and he has to carry that with him forever. Uh, so it's a, it's a triple tragedy. And we have, as a community, have to begin to school these young men that this is not a war zone we're in. This is our home front. They live, he lived right up the block from where that occurred. We have to let them know how important their neighborhood is. And that's what our job is, to make them know. And their imagination is not out there shooting at each other. They have to understand how they could begin to sit down and do business with each other. Uh, create uh, business opportunities that they could trade with each other. If you got to shoot, shoot hoops. You know what I'm saying? Come together and get a game going and do something like that. That's what we did. We did the peace games for many years when it was many, many, many homicides in this city. We did the peace games and we set up peace zones. And that's what we have to go back to. Well, they're not oblivious to it, but they've, been, they've, they've, made, they've glorified the prison industrial complex. It's almost like they call it going up top. That's how they refer to it, going up top. Going up top where? Uh, they go up there to lift weights. I, I got a weight system set up right down in the basement at Ebbets Field Apartments. I said, you ain't got to go up top to, to lift weights. You can come down there and, and, and bulk up if you need to. Uh, the prison industrial complex, I, I started teaching at Greenhaven Prison in 1971 there were 34 prisons in the state of new york they're up to 86 now in building and they've only built one state university since then and that's suny purchase you know so they 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 they're preparing these young people from about the fifth grade getting them ready for rikers island you know uh and and yeah and we have to break that cycle we have to break it Nobody else is going to break it for us because it's a, it's a funny story a young man told me was coming home from prison and he said the correction officer came to him and says, thank you for helping me pay my mortgage and buy my boat and if all goes well, you don't go home and take care of business, your son is going to do the same for my son. And he said once he heard that, it realized that this, 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 is, this is a real, real deal. You know, uh, every time, how are you? Every time a young person is stopped out there on the street, you put 20 people to work. From the two offices in the car, to the precinct, to the courthouse, to the correction offices, you put 20 people to work. So that's a, that's a major, major industry. So we're going to have to break that cycle.